Okay, so um, let's try this one now. It says uh, calculate the hydroxide ion concentration of a solution with a pH of 4.0. Okay, so we're looking for the hydroxide ion concentration, but pH gives us the hydronium ion concentration or the proton concentration, right? So there is something else we know, though. We know Kw. Kw is the concentration of H plus or H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus. Okay. And we also know that Kw is a value of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. So with that information, we should be able to rearrange this to, after figuring out this, being able to plug that number into here. Okay? So let's figure out what the hydrogen ion concentration is first. Okay? So how do we do that? Well, the same way we did it the last problem, right? So it's going to be 10 to the negative pH equals the H3O plus concentration. Is that right? Okay. So, in this case, why don't we just add a zero there, just for, so we can have two sig figs. Um, so, well, don't need to do that, don't need to do it, right? What is the answer there? Negative 1.0, help me out guys, thanks. 10 to the negative 4. What? Mole, right? Okay, so if it's right on the dot, it's always going to be that to the negative 4 or whatever. Okay. So that's the hydronium ion concentration. But we're looking for the hydroxide ion concentration. We know Kw, we know hydronium ion, so the hydroxide ion concentration, we just divide both sides by H3O plus, right? So we're going to get Kw divided by H3O plus concentration. Do we know both of these numbers? Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Is that what you like? Divided by 1.0 times 10 to the negative 4. Do you guys remember how to do that? Yeah, so again, you don't have to, right, uh, put these all into your calculator if you remember your log rules, right? So if it's negative on the bottom, you're just going to bring it up to the top and add it. So it's going to be, what did you guys say? 1.0 times 10 to the negative 10 mole. That's it. That's the answer. Is everybody okay with that? So this is a negative on the bottom. So if you do that, you bring it up to the top and put a plus. So if you do minus 14 plus 4, it's going to be negative. If they were together, if they were both on top, then you would add them together. Does that make sense? So again, there's that sheet that I printed out for you guys, the log rules, okay? It makes things real easy on you, if they're, especially if they're just 1.0 times whatever, you know? Because they're straight up, you can move them around real easy. Okay, is everybody cool with this? Any questions? Should we kill it?